yo, welcome back to another episode of Texas Underground. I am your host, Jay Bass. And as always, make sure you follow us on all the social media pages at The Jay Bass Show. This show is brought to you by La Conecta. Make sure you check them out at shoplaconecta.com. They got the air freshers with different characters on it. You can see Vicente Fernandez. You can see, uh, let's see, what else we got? We got all kinds of good stuff. We got the uh, the hats, Muerte La Verga hat. We got the fussy dies. We got the screws and license plate. We got Como Chingas. They also have Toxica, Toxico, all kinds of cool stuff, man. You might be seeing this book going around. Shouts out to Concrete. Uh, make sure you check them out at shoplaconecta.com. This show is also brought to you by GT Digital Distribution. If you're an independent artist looking to take your music to the next level, make sure you hit them up at www.gtdigitaldistribution.com and they will help you take your music to the next level. Joining us today, man, um, let's see. For Texas Underground, you are the first country artist that we have on here. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, obviously, cool. I, I'm I'm three shows in, and, and I've had other uh, country artists on here before. Uh, we've, we've 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 had Louis on here before, just a yes, different sir. show or whatever. But um, I, I ran into you uh, on TikTok. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And and then I I saw that we're gonna we're gonna talk about that here in a second. But then I saw that the people you know your following was backing you up about opening up for Louis. Obviously, I, I've been knowing Louis for a while, so you know that that got more of my attention. And then I realized you recorded my boy's studio at, at oh, Slow. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Joining sir. us today, man, one of his songs that was trending on TikTok was uh, Moonshine, Brown Eyes, correct? Brown Eyes and Moonshine. There yeah. you go. I said it backwards, but you get it. <laughs> Andrew, what's up, man? <laughs> what's going on, j Vaz, man? I'm glad Shut to be up, here, bro. I'm glad to be here, man, with you, man. Yeah. appreciate this opportunity, bro, for sure. Nah, I appreciate you making time, bro. You say you stay quite a, it's quite a drive from where you stay at, man, but... Um, but yeah, man. So, so I definitely wanted to uh, bring you on here, and, and it's something that we previously uh, discussed, and we're making it happen. Um, just wanted to get a quick background of who you are and whatnot, especially since you know you told me you you were into uh, rap before, and and I just wanted to get that whole history of the transition and whatnot. So let's take it to the very top. Um, where are you from, man? You just told me where you were from, but just for the people watching, where, yeah. So I am from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, born out there. I think I moved about moved to Houston when I was about 16, 17 years old, man. I moved down here yeah. to Texas. And yeah, man, it's that's where I was from, Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. So it's like so so country has been, you know, so, something that you that you've liked, or is this so, so something that just happened here recently? So being from Tennessee, we're more down south, you know, down south too, you know what I'm saying? But man, I kind of Country music, I didn't get into it till I moved down here to Texas. Okay. You know, when I was about 16, 17 years old. Um, my baby mama, she li- she listens to country. My baby mama, she's from out here and from Texas. Yeah. And so she, you know, she put me on the country music, country artist, and I was like, oh, yeah, I dig this. I'm liking this. Yeah. For sure. You know, I kind of grew up in an environment in Memphis, Tennessee, where it was a lot of gangs, um, a lot of gangs and... You know, drug, you know, and just in that environment, man. So yeah. when I moved to Texas, it was a whole nother different environment for me, you know. And that's how I fell into the, you know, country music. I heard it. I was like, you know what? I like this. That's like, where it's no, at for me. For sure. Um, before you got into country, though, uh, you were you, you went to hip hop. Right. Talk to us about that. What, what, it, what sparked that interest and what was the influence to jump into hip hop? So music... For me, is I, I don't have a favorite genre. I love music, period. I love, you know, music, rap, country, all kinds of music, you know. And um, rap was just something that, I you know, caught my attention. I grew, grew up around a lot of people that rapped, and I was like, yo, this is dope. Like, let me, let me try to get into something like this. And me being good, you know, just writing music was just something like, all right, let's, you know, let's do something. Let's do it. And so, yeah, that's how I came about rap, moved to, Moved to Texas is when I took it kind of serious, and that's how I end up with um with LVD yeah. slowing them. LVD, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you were in the early stages of LVD when they were barely getting started. One of whatnot. the first, yeah, one yeah. of the first people that, that yeah. came into LVD. Um, yeah. Did you ever get to release any music uh with, with them? Uh, yeah, quite a bit, quite a quite a bit, almost enough songs to do an album. Yeah, yeah. What what, what was your rap name? Uh, Lento. 
What was it? Lento. Lento? Lento, like slow. Yeah. In Spanish, lento. Oh, okay. Lento, <laughs> yeah, lento, lento, yeah, lento. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it was, <laughs> <laughs> you had slow, you had lento. So that was that was kind of the, uh, you know, the nickname that I got from being in, uh, you know, back in Memphis in the gang. It was, it was a nickname that I was yeah. given. And so, yeah, you know, I just stuck with lento. And then Andrew's actually a, a middle name, my middle name. So I was like, you know, when I started doing country, I was like, I'm going to do Andrew music, you know? Yeah. Man, um, so somewhere in the mix, did you lose interest into hip hop, or did country music just kind of overtook? Nah, man. Um, I man, like I said, I love music, man. I love the, I love rap. I love, um, I like rap more back in the day. I tell you that much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I like rap more back in the day. But nah, man, I, I got love for the rap, the country, the, all music, man. It's just you know, country took me a lot more further than than what rap did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you know, I just what, what was that transition like to 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 go from from hip hop to into into country? So I did rap for about about a year or so with you know slow on them, and then I you know my baby mama she ended up getting pregnant, and so I kind of just cut down the you know music. I stopped doing music, and I was just working and you know getting ready to be a you know a father, you know providing right. and everything like that, you know. And um, one day I'm just you know. I'm on the radio listening to country. I'm singing the country songs. And then um, she kind of stopped me there and she's like, you should do country. You should do country music. You have that raspy voice for country music. And that was like years before I came out with my first country song about seven months ago. Okay. Yeah, and then um, I dropped that one. And the first place I put it on was on uh, Facebook. And man, it just... What, it, what was the first country song? What Grandpa said... Grandpa said, okay, I've seen that one on YouTube, yeah. yeah. Well, Grandpa said. Yeah. That was the first one, my first time ever recording country, my first. So in the song, you kind of hear a little bit nervous in yeah, there. That you was, hear it definitely. Yeah. I was about to say. Yeah, <laughs> that don't sound it. like nothing like the other ones I've I've done, but yeah, I was real nervous doing it. And, but, you know, it, it showed, a lot of people showed a lot of love for yeah. it. And um, they were like, bro, we want to hear more. We want to hear more. And so we dropped maybe like two, or two more songs. They did all right. And then uh, I came out with Never Had You. And that one just... TikTok was the spot where they blew it up. That's where I like, got a lot of my fan base from. Um, actually, that's one of the songs that Louie yeah. heard and saw, and and that's how we ended up on on stage with yeah, Louie. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, uh, what well, before we talk about that, what was the hardest part um, as far as making that transition from hip hop to country? It wasn't hard at all, man. I mean, other than I didn't, I have never really singed in the studio like yeah. I do with country country music. I just, but it was, it was something different. It was, it, it was, it was for me, it was almost like a bucket list. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was like, you know, people told me like, do country music. You know, my baby mama, I had friends. They were like, man, try country. And I was like, all right, let's put it on my bucket list. Boom. And unexpectedly, bro, I got so much love off of just doing it, man. And it was, it was crazy. You know, I was like, man, you know, what? all right, let's, let's keep doing it. You know, yeah. I got that Southern accent. I'm from Tennessee. Let's let's keep it going, man. And and we've been doing it. My fans, supporters, man, they've been with me with it a hundred percent. And and I love y'all for that. And yeah, so that's yeah. The transition wasn't that hard for me. What what would you consider your style? Because you know there is different styles of country. Uh, what would you consider uh, you know yours? So I feel like most of the songs that I do have are more like into like country pop. I want to say country pop in a way. I mean, brown eyes and moonshine probably. Country songs is definitely a country song, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I definitely had to put one out there that was like, all right, let's let's do it country country for sure. That that's that's your most recent one, huh? Country song country was the song. last one I just yeah. released. I we do have another song coming out pretty soon. I just posted it, a little preview called Rolling. And it uh it's featured with my, my little sister. My little sister should oh, okay. sing. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. So so were you was that something that runs in your family, like as far as musicians, or is this just something your sister likes what you're doing and she's got the voice for it? Bro, so I got a um, music. I, I want to say it kind of does, cause my my mom's brother, my uncle, he's in a, a rock band, so he does like the drumming. Yeah. Um, I got a uncle from all the way in Atlanta, Georgia, and he's he's a rapper. I mean, but as far as country as singing in country, uh, my sister, you know, I can't say my mom. My mom can't sing. Yeah. My dad can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it's, it's always just been uh, my sister. She's been real. She she could sing. Yeah, and just like the new song that we got coming out pretty soon called Rolling, it it shows it there that she could sing. That's that's dope, and especially when you can you can share those moments with your family and whatnot. Exactly. Yeah. 
Um, as far as country goes, man, what 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 are your influences? Who who are you influenced by when it comes to making music? Man, so when I first moved down to Texas when I was about sixteen years old, I had to say, uh, Luke Combs, man. Yeah, Luke Combs was one of my my biggest influencer. When I started doing, and this is no you know no bullshit, man. This is when I first did country music. I was like, man, I'm gonna be the first Hispanic country singer, and then um. Boom, you know, here comes Louis. And I'm like, man, like, you know, I'm like, he's dope, man. Like, yeah. man, I, you know, so yeah, you know, Louis has been doing it, been putting it on for the raza and the gente, bro. Yeah. And and I mean, I respect it. I love it. I'm I'm a fan of Louis, you know what I'm saying? So it's it was an honor, man. Yeah. Um, let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about the whole Louis experience. Um, obviously, you've been growing your following on TikTok. Shouts out to TikTok. Let's go. Uh, and you you gather around your followers to to get Louis' attention. And what, what, what exactly happened? They were tagging him on one of your videos or something like that? Man, so, um, yeah, man, I, I made a post. And um, I was I was trying to get out there more, you know. I was This is in the beginning. And um, I was like, man, I posted the video like, hey, TikTok, do your thing. Let's get Louis the singer to see this. And so when I posted that video, not even followers that were following me, it was just people from TikTok was like, yeah. Louis, check this guy out. Louis, this guy's fire. Louis, Louis, you know, so so many people off TikTok, my followers, other people, you know, that they end up tagging them, man. And yeah. then, um one day I was I was on my way to work. And um I got a message um saying, Bro, where are you from? From Louis. Yeah. And I was like, Man, this ain't Louis, man. I, I, had to, I had to go. I had to go through the yeah through the TikTok profile. And I was like, bro, this is Louis. And um, yeah, I told him like, yeah, I'm in Houston, Texas, bro. You know, this, this, and that. He's like, man, do you want to open up for me on August 4th in Houston? And I was like, fucking hey, bubba, like hell yeah, yeah. Let me get on, and he was like, all right, cool, cool. A couple hours later, I'm drinking water. I, I get on TikTok, and he made a whole video about it. And I was like, bro, that's dope. Yeah. So yeah, man, that, that's how that happened now, and that's how that turned out to be. Yeah, that, that that's definitely um, dope from your followers to be able to make that happen. Obviously, dope from Louis for 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 putting somebody on. You know what I mean? For sure. And, and, and it's something that I've seen that he's been doing. You know, he was in San Antonio, I think, the day after he he got Gabriela on there. Gabriela signed or one of the artists that signed to GT Digital, um, Gabriela Martinez. Um, man, as far as far as as far as that experience. Um, what was that like, man? Because for, for me, like, I've known Louis since, like, 07, 08. Oh, wow. And and I remember when he was doing R&B, and I've seen his shows. You know, he's always gotten love. But to see him in the country scene and that many people show out for him, that was hella dope as as a friend and as a fan. Right. But uh, for you as an artist, what was that like, man, to, to be able to uh, not just open up for somebody that, that, that you, you know, like his music, but to have that crowd reaction that they were giving you? Man, so it was... It, it was the best feeling, bro. It was it's an addict, addicting feeling, man. You know what? Um, like I said, I went in there for sound check. Nobody was there. And I think that was the most nervous thing at that moment of me being there doing sound check. You know, you had the VIP guests going there and they're, yeah. they're seeing me doing sound check and they're already like, you know, recording and I get down, there's already people that already knew who I was. I had yeah. a lot of people come out to the show to support me too. And um yeah, man, it it was it was a good feeling. I did have to drink a couple shots, a couple beers before I had to go on stage, but other than that, man, it was it was the best feeling ever, man. It's to get the love that I got from Houston, bro, from the people, from Louis' people, you know, yeah. it was it was. Have awesome. you have you had performed a uh, country before? Never. That was so. My this first, was your first performance. This was my first performance. Man, he talks about the whole process, bro. Like, well, <laughs> obviously, you just mentioned getting nervous and whatnot. Yeah. I'm imagining because you know when I I got there like at six thirty, I think this, around the time y'all were doing sound check. And again, like you said, th there was nobody there. And obviously, this, you start, me, as they have nothing to do with the show, I start thinking, like, man, I wonder how many people going to show up, man. Like, hope this shit don't stay dead, bro. <laughs> this is my boy, you know what I'm saying? But what was it like for you to uh, to show up and, 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 you know, again, from a dead, well, it was probably like four of us in that room, right. to, to then the crowd filling in. Just right. talk to us about the process, your nerves, and everything that was going on. For sure, man. Um, So, yeah, man, I get in there... Uh, I get to the back door. Lorenzo, uh, Louis's manager, yeah. he comes to the back and he's like, yeah, man, uh, Louis's going to do sound check. And then, you know, we're going to have you do your thing and whatever. And I'm like, all right, cool, you know, cool. And so I go inside the building and uh, Louis's pulling up and I'm like, okay, you know. And um, he's doing his thing and I'm I'm nervous, man, because I'm like, this is my first time performing. 
you know, yeah. performing live in front. I, I knew the show wasn't going to be there. Let me interrupt you right quick. Yeah. Performing like hip hop, er, er, just performing in general? So I performed in Warehouse Live before with Slow in them. Okay, with, with rap. Slow okay, okay. Yeah. My bad. Okay. Go ahead. That's a lot different, yeah. you know, compared to being on stage by yourself, doing country for the first time. You know, it was. It was it was it was a lot nerve wracking in the beginning for sure and um yeah man by the time I, I like I knew the show was gonna get packed yeah. there wasn't a doubt in my mind that you know Louis is a big name out right now yeah and I was like man for sure the show's gonna get packed so that's what kind of made my nerves a little bit more wrecking because I'm I'm hearing like man there's like 500 400 people that's gonna show yeah. up and um so man I, I'm right there and I'm on the phone and I'm like man I'm nervous I'm nervous like you know. And I, the, the person I was talking to, which was, you know, my manager, and he's like, bro, you're good, you're good. I'm on the way, I'm on the way. And so I started taking shots of Tito's vodka, or, you know, drinking, you know, a little bit of beer. I had about two or three beers, and I was like, all right, cool. And um, by the time I went back, the guy told me, he's like, Andrew, next thing I know, they're telling me, you're on in seven minutes. Ooh. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> my, gum, my gum drop out my mouth, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, the gum helps with my nerves. And the gum done dropped out of my mouth, and I'm telling my manager, like, bro, stand in front of me. I'm about to pick this gum up <laughs> off the floor. Yeah. He's like, nah, leave it, bro, leave it. And then um, they tell me, hey, you're on. So I'm like, man. I was like, all right, cool. And so and by the time I walked on stage, bro, the crowd was already going, you know, showing mad love. And yeah. all the nerves just went away. It was like, you know, I just went with the flow, and, and I had a great time doing it, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy. You know, you mentioned the, uh, the you knew it was going to be packed. I got there, and like you, know, you said, it was... It was Obviously, 6.30, the show didn't kick off until 9. And I remember I asked uh, Smooth, well, Lorenzo, I was like, where y'all at? He was like, four something. And I was like, okay, cool. And then like 30 minutes later, he's like, we've hit 500. I was like, okay, it's moving. Like, y'all motherfuckers moving. And then next, you know, about 30 minutes before, you know, the show got started, they were like at 5.30 something. I can't remember. But but yeah, it was it, it was crazy to yeah. see, you know, the, the, the love that, that, you know, Obviously, country is big here in Houston, right. um, but it's cool to see people you know in that genre. Because obviously, I'm heavily into the hip hop scene. Right. You know, um, you're besides Louis, you're the only other uh, country artist that that, I, that I've had on the show. Oh, so that's I mean, dope. That's you know what dope. I mean? Yeah. Um, but so yeah, that 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 was hella dope. Um, the, the the experience. Uh, are, do you feel like you you ready for another show? What can we expect as far as shows go? Man, so after the show, I had did have people link up with me. And um, other than you, yourself, you know, yeah. you came up to me and you're like, bro, like, let's do an interview. But I had other people told me that, yeah, man, like, we want to book you for this event. We want to get you for this event, September. So, yeah, man, maybe in sometime in September yeah. or, you know, some something a lot more sooner, you know. We'll yeah. be definitely be doing more shows. Have you ever done any covers as far as country goes? Uh, yeah. I have never done any covers, man. How do you feel about doing covers? Man, I've I've wanted to, but I feel like if I do covers, I cannot sing that song better than of course, the original yeah, artist, yeah. and um, and so I mean I've I've wanted to, but I, if it comes to that point where like I can't sing this song better than that person, yeah. So I've just always like you know I'm gonna just stick to my original you kinda, myself. Kind of get to your head. You I kind of got my own style and my own country music, my own voice. You know what I'm saying? So I feel more comfortable if I was to just keep it myself. I mean, I'm pretty sure in the future I will do a couple covers of you know. Yeah. Luke Combs or something like that. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm going to tell you why I asked that here off camera in a little bit. But um, so we got on TikTok. We we asked people to shoot us their questions. And obviously, they're anonymous questions. We're not going to say no <laughs> names. Uh, but we got, let me see. Let's pick a couple questions on here from the people. Uh, if you haven't done so, make sure you follow us at the JVAS Show. Anytime we got an artist coming up, uh, we like to ask, you know, uh, the followers to shoot some questions that they might be interested in. Uh, well, I kind of fucked this one up. They say, when is the next show? I've already asked you that. <laughs> uh, so, so hopefully at some point soon. Um, what made you start singing? We went through that one already right. as well. Uh, let's see. Kind of cover pretty much every question. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, this one is, uh, what is the motivation? What is your motivation when it comes to, to making music? Man, the motivation, man, it's more of a... Um, it's more of a something that I love doing. You know, I... Um, Definitely the show, the love I get on from my fans on TikTok and social media, that motivates me of definitely, you know, if I can, when I started doing country music, man, it, when I did my first song with Grandpa said, it was like a bucket list, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, because when I stopped doing, you know, rap with Slow on them, um, I was like, I'm not going to do music, you know, really, I'm not going to do music anymore. And we came up with a, 
where it was like what grandpa said and I was like bucket list. And um man, like if it motivates me to do that, you know, the fans that show love, the supporters and everything, that's what motivates me. My daughter, for sure, you know, if I can if I can give her a better life doing music yeah. than what I'm doing now, for sure, man. Oh uh, hell yeah, yeah for, sure. for sure. Um one thing that I that I have noticed, obviously, you know, you you say you've only started the country in, in you know, what, six, seven months. Mm -hmm. uh, can we expect any music videos? And and I say that because the Moonshine song is pretty yeah, fucking catchy. Man. And we were backstage whenever you, you got on stage. And um, um, Zilla, you know, he's a, he's a wrestler for, uh, I ain't going to even make this up. He's. I can't remember the name of the, of the company, right. but, but he's cousins to uh, Roman Reign, I believe. Mm -hmm. And he was back there, and he was like, "Bro, I heard this song on TikTok." I was like, "Yeah, you know, it's 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 Andrew." Yeah. And and I just wish we had a visual for it. Is there any any man? So uh, can we expect a visual for that or a visual for anything else? Yeah, for sure, man. Right now, we're definitely working on doing music videos. Um, I haven't posted anything on YouTube because. I posted maybe three or four songs or three songs on YouTube and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to leave the YouTube for the visuals, the music yeah. videos and everything. So yeah, we're definitely working on uh, doing music video to Brown Eyes and Moonshine. We're definitely going to have a Shad Coat for country songs to come out and do a music video. He's all the way yeah. from Bama. And um, yeah, we're definitely going to do some music videos coming soon, real soon, man. We're yeah. working on that right now. I feel like that that would definitely take you to the next level That's as far right. as, you know, adding those visuals and ha having a storyline with the songs. Right. And, and sometimes the, those help people relate more to this to the song and it'll blow it up you know what i'm saying exactly yeah um so obviously you said we have uh shows possibly in september uh as far as music goes what can we expect in the upcoming weeks upcoming months so we got um like i said we got rolling coming out pretty soon with music um and um man like there's a lot of more, more things that we got coming out you know we're yeah. gonna do some events coming up music festivals and um hopefully you know whenever the houston rodeo comes back to Houston, yeah. man we'll We'll try to get something going for there for sure. That'll be dope. Yeah. That'll be dope, man. Hey, get this man at least at the fucking hideout. At least. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go for sure. At the hideout. Yeah. Hey, man. What's shit? Hey, bro. Um, I, First of all, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you stopping by, man. And, and like I said, I mean, obviously, I already follow you on social media. And uh, for anybody that might not be following you, uh, where can they follow you on social media? So TikTok is uh, Andrew Official 8 on TikTok. Andrew Music as well. Um. Same thing on Instagram, Andrew Music, uh, Spotify. You can search up Andrew Brown Eyes Moonshine. It'll pop up all my music there. Same thing with YouTube, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Already with shit. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you blow up them numbers. Uh, Brown Eyes and Moonshine available on all streaming services now. So make sure you guys check that out. Follow him on all social media pages. You can find the links on the description of the podcast, description of the video. And, uh, Hey, man, we appreciate your time, bro. Hey, much uh, love, man. Hopefully we see you on some upcoming events here in the next couple of weeks. And, you know, well, fuck the weeks. It's going to be hot as fuck. Yeah. Hopefully in September <laughs> and October, sure, we'll catch sure. up some of these shows, man. And uh, sure. once again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit up shoplockconnecta.com. You're watching Texas Underground. Let's go.